from all the other videos because I've got a lot to talk about mainly a certain individual or should I say individuals Kieran Hayes now look I'll be quite honest when I put that video out about John Smith saying that I just didn't care anymore that's where my level of interest in that had gone some curiosity had been piqued at that point. A curiosity had been piqued to the point that I was somewhat interested. But there was nothing behind it. And in a way, just by saying that, I was right. Turns out it's someone I already know. Kieran Hayes. John Smith is Kieran Hayes. Who would have thought? Now, had this been anybody else, I would have taken the words that you said and put them in their mouth. And yes, it would have been oh so shocking. But when Robert DeCaro messaged me about John Smith, I had to remind myself who he was for a second. And then told me that you were him. My first initial reaction was... So... So, I'll be honest, Kieran. You, the interest in John Smith had already long disappeared. So, as for that, you can say that I'm unintelligent. Or I could just remember the times that I've defeated you and that one time that I defeated you once with a single... Final Rites. Oh yes, that's the name of my cutter, RKO, whatever you want to call it. The Final Rites. Quite potent. Quite poetic. <laughs> and then you reveal something quite interesting to me. This did pique my interest because I see a change happening with a certain Drac Nightwing. To those of you who don't know, Drac Nightwing and Kieran Hayes have officially become a tag team. Hmm. An interesting combination of technical ability and striking power. Bit like Ricochet and Alistair Black, except nowhere near as good. Now, you bring up very interesting but true points in that Drac has never, well, lost to me. He's always defeated me. And the difference between me and Crimson and a lot of other people is that I acknowledge my losses. I acknowledge my defeats. And I think that's why you can't truly hate me, Kieran. Because I'm certainly not like Crimson. And if you do get to the tag belts and you do take them, I will... Because my hand is preoccupied with the camera. Give you applause. That's my applause to you for when you two win the belts. Because then the belts will actually be in capable hands. Just hold on to them. So then, when it comes to it, myself and Robert DeCaro will snatch them from your hands. <laughs> Just like I did with the Sheffield belt, not once, but twice. <laughs> now, Drac... Drac, Drac, Drac. All this talk about Wrestlepalooza, it's hyping it up to such extent. This match will be the match to see at Wrestlepalooza. 
and everyone knows it. Nobody's coming to see Side Splitter, or Side Shitter, or Side Winder, or just shit on a stick. Nobody's there to see anybody else but me, Drac, Crimson, and Daniel Banner slugging it out. We're the only four that matter on that day, and the only reason that you three matter is because of me. <laughs> oh. mm. I'll get onto that in a second. <laughs> you see, Russell Palooza is going to be glorious. <clears throat> glorious indeed. <laughs> the results that I want will happen on that day, regardless of what you, Drac, or what Crimson, or what Daniel Banner have to say about it all. My result. My rule, my way. That's what's going to happen at Wrestlepalooza. And that's enough about that. Because I have a couple of announcements to make. First of all, I hear that someone new has been signed, not for wrestling, but for a commentary of sorts. For the 2021 Cruiserweight Tournament for SWF. Now he will be the one who will hype this event up to such an extent that even I cannot. What is it? He goes by the alias of the Commodore. Quite an interesting name, actually. He will be the one who will explain the rules of the 2021 SWF Cruiserweight Tournament, introduce its participants, and narrate the matches as it goes. <laughs> this should be quite an interesting event, and I hear that he will be uploading a video very soon to do with this. Another announcement. Sinister. <laughs> I'll give you credit where it's due. You stepped into the lion's den. Hmm. I suppose you would after what we did to you. Yes. It's going to take a while to upload all of the footage. And I won't give any spoilers as to what happened. But you'll all see just what can be done when two people who hate each other so much are put into a match like Belial's lair. <laughs> I'll give you credit where it's due, Dante. You took the bait, along with your buddy corpse. <laughs> and you, you played your part very well. Hmm, what else to say? What else to say? I believe there's not much else, is there? Hmm. It feels good to be back. I hear that people have been missing me. <laughs> and yes, Crimson, you have permission to rag on the blonde hair once more. Seeing as that was the only insult that you could ever come up with. What was it? Blonde bitch boy? Yeah, I'd rather be a blonde bitch boy than a demon who barely defends his titles. Or, sorry, quote-unquote demon. <laughs> I believe that'll be all for today. I'll go back to a proper schedule soon. It's great to be back. I'll see you all in the next episode. <laughs> we <laughs>